if you want to see more topics then check the playlist section of this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below in this video we will see an example on sinusoidal steady state analysis nodal analysis question compute vo of t in the circuit of figure here for this circuit we have to find the value of this vo solution first of all we will take this circuit from here now as we can see this circuit is currently in time domain format so we will convert this into its equivalent phasor domain format convert it into phasor domain so this 16 sin 4t minus 10 degree volt now this is in sines form so first we will convert this into its equivalent cosine form or standard form so it will be 16 cos 40 minus 10 degree now since we change from sine to cos so here we have to add minus 90 degree volt now if we simplify this so it will be 16 cos 40 and this will be minus 100 minus 100 degree volt now in phasor domain this will be 16 16 at an angle minus 100 degree volt so this is in phasor domain format now next is 1 henry so this 1 henry will change to j omega l so j into omega value here we can see the value of omega is omega is equal to 4 radian per second from here we can say omega is equal to 4 radian per second because the standard expression is vm cos omega t plus theta or plus phi so omega value is 4 multiplied with inductance value is 1 so this will be j4 j4 ohm then next this 0 point 0 point 0.25 farad 0 point 0.25 farad will change to 1 upon j omega c so again 1 upon j into omega value is 4 capacitance value is 0 0.25 1 upon j into 4 into 0 0.25 so it is minus j ohm then next 1 ohm so this 1 ohm will remain same in both time domain and in phasor domain then this 0 0.1 0 0.5 ix 0 0.5 ix will change to 0 0.5 capital ix and here this small vo will change to capital vo vo will change to capital vo and here this small ix will change to capital ix now we got all the values or all the components now let's change it so this 16 sin 16 sin 40 minus 10 degree will change to 16 at an angle minus 100 degree volt 16 at an angle minus 100 degree volt this ix will change to capital ix this 0 0.5 ix will change to capital ix again this vo will change to capital vo 1 ohm will remain same 1 henry will change to 1 henry will change to j4 ohm j4 ohm then this 0 0.25 farad 0 0.25 farad will change to minus j ohm minus j ohm 
नाउ दिस इज द सर्किट इन इट्स इक्विवेलेंट फेज द डोमेन फॉर्मेट नाउ वी कैन यूज नोडल एनालिसिस टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी ओ सो लेट से दिस इज नोड विथ वोल्टेज वी वन लेट से एंड दिस इज द रेफरेंस नोड लेट्स अज्यूम दिस करंट एस करंट आई वन नाउ लेट्स अप्लाई के सी एल अप्लाय के सी एल एट नोड वी वन so according to kirchhoff's current law summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now at this node the entering current is this ix so ix then plus this 0.5 ix is also entering so 0.5 ix is equal to leaving current so leaving current is i1 now this will be 1.5 1.5 ix is equal to now i1 will be v1 minus 0 v1 minus 0 divided by impedance value impedance will be minus j plus 1 or 1 minus j simply 1 minus j also we can write this ix in voltage form it will be this voltage minus this voltage divided by this impedance so 1.5 1.5 into 16 at an angle minus 100 degree minus v1 divided by impedance value j4 is equal to v1 upon 1 minus j if we take this on left side so it will be 1.5 multiplied with 1.5 multiplied with 16 at an angle minus 100 degree divided by j4 Minus one point five into V one divided by J four, and this will be on left side, so it will be minus V one upon one minus J is equal to zero. Now let's simplify it. One point five into sixteen. At an angle minus hundred divided by j into four, one point five into sixteen at an angle minus hundred divided by j into four. So it is this much. In polar form, it will be shift to three, so six at an angle one seventy degree minus one point five divided by j four. 1.5 divided by j into 4 so it is 0. Point, it is minus 0.375 so it will be plus 0.375 j v1 then minus now 1 upon 1 minus j 1 upon 1 minus j it is this much in rectangular form in polar form it will be shift 2 3 so it is root 2 by 2 root 2 by 2 at an angle 45 multiplied with v1 is equal to 0 now we can take this on right side and here we can take this v1 common so v1 in bracket 0.375 j minus root 2 divided by 2 at an angle 45 is equal to minus 6 minus 6 at an angle 170 degree 
so v1 in bracket now let's solve this 0 0.375 375 0.375 into j minus root 2 divided by 2 at an angle 45 so it is minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 then minus 0 0.125 j is equal to minus 6 at an angle 170 degree so v1 is equal to minus 6 at an angle 170 degree divided by minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.125 j minus 6 at an angle 170 divided by minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.125 into j Here we are taking from left side to right side. So let's see 6 at an angle 170 degree. So it is this much. Now here we will convert this rectangular form to this polar form to rectangular form. So it is minus 5.90 minus 5.90 so on right side it will be plus 5.90 minus here it is plus so it will be minus 1.04 j so here also it will be this much and here also in the numerator it will be this much now let's change the value 5.90 5.90 minus 1.04 into into j divided by minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.125 into j so now it is equal to this much in rectangular form in polar form this will be shift 2 3 so it is 11.62 at an angle 155 155.96 degree volt so this is the value of v1 now we can find the value of vo by using voltage division rule so by using voltage division rule vo is equal to vo is equal to this v1 multiplied with v1 means this 11.62 at an angle 155.96 multiplied with 1 ohm divided by 1 plus 1 plus minus j So, VO is equal to, let's solve this in calculator, 11.62 at an angle 155.96, 11.62 at an angle 155.96 into 1 upon 1 minus J.
so it is this much in rectangular form in polar form this will be shift 2 3 so 8.21 8.21 at an angle minus 159.04 degree and again since it is a voltage so its unit will be volts now this is in phasor domain format in in time domain format it will be vo of t is equal to 8.21 cos omega value the value of omega here we can see it is 4 radian per second so for cos 4t then minus 159.04 degree volt in this problem what we have to find we have to find the value of vo of t by using nodal analysis so here this is the value of vo of t by using nodal analysis don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching